Well, first of all, if, if you look at a business, the chokehold on the growth of any business is always the psychology and the skill set of the leader. And it's 80% psychology and 20% mechanics, meaning so many small businesses, you know, um, the, the owner might be an incredible innovator. Maybe they write incredible code. Maybe they're a tremendous influencer, but they don't know the economic side of their business, right? And they find themselves getting in trouble because somebody's giving them financial information after the fact. They don't have true financial intelligence to make decisions and they get caught up. Pick my own examples. I had several companies early in my career that were near bankruptcy because I would sit down and I, would, I knew how to produce products that would change people's lives. I knew how to market. I knew how to build teams of people. But what I didn't know was finance. So I'd look and say, you know, okay, what, how are we doing? I go, oh, you got a great, you know, you got a 20% profit. You know, you got $2 million in profit in those days, a little tiny company. And I come to the end of the year, there was no cash, right? I didn't know that profit is a theory, right? You know? And so just not having that skill, or someone might be really great in finance, but they're not any good in marketing. So sometimes it's a skill problem, but you can solve those skills. You can get those skills if you can change your psychology. But when you accept that, oh my God, the market's down, or oh my God, the economy in our area is down, when you allow the environment to control your psychology, you're not gonna win. There's an interesting guy um, named um, Mel Fisher that you may remember from back in the 90s. He was, if, you, if the name lingers in your mind, he was a guy that spent, I think it was 27 years, if I remember correctly, looking for this Spanish galleon that was supposed to be filled with gold. Do you yes, remember that? of course. And he had found it after 27 years. Now, here's my question for you, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> five years into it, you've worked every day for five years and you found nothing. What are you going to do? <laughs> and how are you going to raise more money? Because you have run out of money. 10 years into it, 15 years into it, 20 years into it. So I say to people in business, I say to them, you want to understand psychology? Here's the biggest challenge for most businesses. They think they've maxed what's possible because they think they've tried everything. Once you believe that, your belief controls you and you miss the innovations, you miss the answers. This guy found that gold because he had three beliefs. First belief was there's a treasure out there and he was certain it was out there even though he didn't have any absolute evidence and that certainty drove him. But if you knew there was treasure in your business, that's not enough. You gotta also believe I will find it. And you also have to believe it's worth it, mm -hmm. right? And without those three beliefs, he never would have found it. And so changing the psychology of the leader is what will change a business faster than anything else. Changing their skills will also do it, but lots of people have the skill and they don't execute. And you and I both know, you know, execution is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is trumped by execution every single day. And that execution comes by changing the psychology.